Jeff and I are hunting this beauty right here. It's early morning. It's a little cool out today. I mean, it's only in the 50s. Fall's on the way. But my first target here in this plug that I cut was this really corroded. I think it's a weed head. Uh, it's really corroded. It came up really strange on the machine. Come up with a 1147 on the CTX today. So I'm with today. And that's about seven inches deep. So we will take that and go on. I think it's a weed head. But boy, I tell you what, it's worked over now. Anyway, we'll go on. See what else we can get. First dig of the morning here. First hoe. Weed head. Crappy one, but still. It'd be weed head. I think it's a 40s model. Alright, on to the next one. Alright guys, down here about 5 to 6 inches. Just pop this out. And it's another weed head. Boy, this ground is really unforgiving for these coins. It must have some fertilizer or some stuff in it. They've all got a lot of corrosion on it. This one's in bad shape, too. I'm underneath a magnolia tree here. It could be the acid off the trees. I don't know. Anyway, we'll go on. Guys, down here underneath this root, I mean, it was way down there. It was at least, it was probably a good eight inches down. Way down here underneath this root, I just popped this out. It's another weed head, but man, it's corroded. I don't know if I'll get anything off of it or not. It's in bad shape. It's got to be the acid off this tree for years of sinking in the ground. Oh well, we'll go on. Hey guys, I haven't checked this out yet. Down here, underneath this root, there are lots of roots in this yard. Just seen it down there. See what it is. Well, it's another weed head. This one's not near as corroded. I did scratch it though, that's normal. Not, got near as much corrosion on this one. We're kind of out away from the main part of the tree. Down about five inches. All right. Let's get another one. Hey guys, I'm on a 1235 signal. Let's pop this accordion reed out. All right. Piece of copper. Down about six inches. Let's find another one. Check this out, guys. You got me a surface find. Right there. Go fishing. Alright. Alright, guys. Everything's been under a root here. There's so many roots. But down about five inches underneath that root right there, just popped this weed head. That's my fifth one so far. I don't know if Jeff's got any or not, but if he doesn't, hmm, maybe I got him so far. We will see. We had number five. It doesn't look like, oh, it's 1930s, I think. Now, this one's not corroded, so I don't know if the tree's the issue or if it's what. But anyway, good find. Fine. We'll go on to the next one. Hey guys, check it out. I spotted silver underneath that root right there. See it? Let's see what it is. Pretty clean. It's only about an inch deep. Wow. Check it out. Looks like a 30, 38, 1938 mark. All right. I'll take that any day. Alright. Happy to have that. Boy, these roots, you can just see how many there is here. It's unreal. They're all over the ground. This magnolia tree is really shallow. I guess it pushed this up. We never had a chance to go down very deep because of the root system here. But I'm happy to have that. So we will go on. And we 
will keep on a hunting. Let's go on to the next one. Hey guys, this is kind of cool. You know, when you're metal detecting, you always come across different stuff. This is a magnolia seed, I guess. And those little red things, I guess, are the little seeds that come out of them. I guess they fall out. And that would be the seed part right there. Pretty neat. And here's a bunch of them here in the yard. I think the squirrels really like to eat those too, the little red things. They were in the tree earlier. I don't know. Never have tried one. Eh, maybe do that someday. Eh, I doubt it. That's cool though. Big old seed head though, isn't it? Kind of neat. It's getting fall time, so stuff's getting ready to happen now. Alright, let's see if we can get some more. Hey guys, 1129 signal. Just popped this dude out. It's kind of a piece of junk, but it's uh, like aluminum aluminum deal or something. That's cool. Alright, let's see what else we can get. It's only about two inches deep. Hey guys, we're at this big unit right now. It hasn't been hunted before, but out on the sidewalk strip, I just pulled this out. It was on a 1208 signal. What it says, something, I don't know. It looked like junk to me. I thought it was a token, but it's not. It's just a, just a piece of junk. All right, let's see if we can get something else. All right, guys, the finds have been far and few between for me, but I just popped this weed head out here. Hunt in the house across the street, built 1880, but the grass has all been filled in with Bermuda grass. So let's see what we can find here. It's my first coin. It's, everything's deep, though. It's six inches. A lot of shallow trash, a lot of clad. Let's get something else. All right, guys, the last three yards we've hit were not very good, so we decided to maybe hunt some a little bit newer stuff, maybe something hadn't been hunted before, and I just popped this out of the ground. It's weedy number seven for the day. All right, let's get some more. All right, guys, I'm going to have to Photoshop this shot. Yep, I'm going to Photoshop that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, just pop this Indian out here. Nineteen oh five. All right, finally got an Indian. It took all day, but that's one for me. Maybe there's another one. Hey guys, this is our Mike back again. Just going through a little bit of cleanup here. Well, didn't dig a whole lot of clad today. Got a, uh, for me, I got several wheats. I got uh, five, nine wheats. I did get a silver, which is a 1938 Mercury. Glad to have that. Ended up with uh, five quarters, two nickels, no dimes, only three zinc heads, and about 10 clad pennies. A little bit of trash here. And I got a fishing weight and a accordion reed. Anyway, had a pretty good time, pretty good day. I wish it would turn out a little better. I did cool, pull them on one of my last targets. I got a 1905 Indian, which I'll always take an Indian. Now, to me, an Indian's a good day. So, got one Indian. I believe it's 1905. So, we'll take an Indian any day. All right, like always, thanks for watching, and on to the next one. This is Mike, and I'm out.